Hey everyone, welcome back to Homesteading in Hungary. This is our chicken village, so come on in here and check it out. What you doing, Smokey? What are you doing, silly? So when we first moved here, we had this one chicken coop right here. And as our flock grew, we built this other one right here. And we as a family, we did it together. It came together really well. We had a lot of fun doing it. So one really big mistake that we made when we were first homesteading and we first built this is the first chicken coop that we built ourselves. And one of the, the first mistakes we made is here. You can see right now I've got, we've got hardware cloth here. But when we first built this chicken coop, we put chicken wire on it. And then I put up a picture on Facebook because I was so excited as because of how cute this coop is. So I put up a picture on some homesteading Facebook groups. And I was like, look at the coop my family and I just built. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, no, you cannot have chicken wire on your coop. Predators are going to rip right through that. So that's why this community, this beautiful homesteading community is so valuable because I wouldn't have known that and they probably saved our birds. So within days, I think within two days, we had replaced the chicken wire with this hard wire cloth. I love the colors because it's the color of our old home. My friend Liz actually gave us this idea. They did it first. They We lived in the same suburban neighborhood together and they they got a chicken coop when they moved out to this area and they painted it with the same color as their old house in the suburban neighborhood and we wanted to do the same just because it's kind of it's kind of like a nice memory of where we started and where we've come in our homesteading journey but i absolutely love the colors of teal and rust together i always have As we were getting our coops, Lisa wanted to add a little bit of touches to it, add a little decor. So this one right here, this is where Elvis lived. That's why we got the little music theme going on right there. Elvis was our rooster and uh, we had him for quite a while. He was a pretty cool rooster to have. And then as the flock grew even more, we had to build a third coop right over here. Now, all these coops are pretty much the same design right off the first one. Added a cute few little things, just kind of like, kind of built it as we went. Didn't really have any blueprints for it, but it came out pretty good. But what was really cool is if you walk around the back of this one, you can see where I really used a lot of recycled wood. So this wood right here is our old deck. So a lot of our deck was rotting at the, on our house. And this is from the wood, from the deck that I, and it's got some new mix in there too, but most of that is from our old deck that we use and then i just use plywood on the sides and then the paint that's on these is paint from our old home that we had before we moved to this homestead here so we're really trying to recycle with as much materials as we can but we have a little bit of new mixed in with the old so you can see our chickens walking around right here we got a bunch of different breeds here and this is one of our original ones little bantam running around so that one right there, so this one right here, that started off as Steven, but now that is Stephanie. There's a couple of others right here. 
But we have a pretty cool little flock because we like to have the different color chickens. So by having all these different, different breeds, we can have different colors and it looks like a good Easter egg. Well, this is where the chicken math kicks in and I wrote a haiku to express my feelings. One thing that I have found incredibly useful in our chicken village, we built, um, this coop was actually here when we got here, but one thing that you need to think about when you are building a chicken coop is if the chicken coop locks from the outside, you need to know a way to get out of the chicken coop. Ask me how I know. So, Charlie, will you come in here? So we've got this thing in here, this little thing for people who might lock themselves inside a chicken coop. This way they can get out. So another thing that we really love on our homestead and it's just a nice little hack that helps us out is having these nesting pads. These nesting pads right here, we got them on Amazon. They fit right inside the nesting box and they're really, really easy to clean. All you need to do is just pick it up and just dump it like that. And then you just put it back in there and then they're nice and clean. It helps keep the eggs clean and it also helps keep them, keeping them from getting broken. So we really, really like these nesting pads. All right, so I'm all about ease. I'm all about hands off. Things, so things can happen while we're not here. So what I did is I took this deer feeder. All right, I had a couple of these extra ones. But what I found is that if I put scratch in it, and I have it set to go off two times a day that the chickens absolutely love it. So those hunters out there, you know how these feeders work, but just for those that may not know, you fill the top right there with whatever you want to give them. And in this case, I'm using scratch. It goes right in the top there. And I run it right here. And these mold tree feeders are by far the best ones that I've ever used. I cannot say enough good things about these feeders. And I've had the same battery in that feeder now for probably going on about three months now, and I haven't had to replace it. So that's a huge plus. So it goes off twice a day for about two seconds each time, but that's just enough scratch right here to keep the chickens going and they, they love it. So they're all coming around and getting a little feast right now. Another thing we need to mention are these automatic chicken doors. Automatic chicken doors are a game changer for your homestead and that is why we did a complete video on them, which I will link down below in the description box. What do we have here, ladies? You gonna let me see what's under there? Are we gonna be feisty this morning? Let's see. Go on now. Go. Beautiful eggs this morning. Thank you. Hi, sweetheart. Excuse me. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Here comes my friendliest chicken, Delia. Delia, come here. Come here, sweetheart. She, she'll come right over. Come on, sweetheart. She's not too sure about the camera. It's okay. Usually she gets down and lets me pet her, wants me to pick her up. She's not too sure about this camera, though. 
The night chicken. Hey, Smokey. Smokey wants some food. 